Hello. Happy Sunday, everybody. It is 8-11. I'm here in the, um, decided to take a walk. Once again, at the river walk, but I'm not near the river this time. At the plaza. The little river's over there. There we go. A little hard to do that way. But, um, yeah. Trying to, uh, try to have a positive day today. I don't know if it's going to fully wind out that way. I hope so. I'm supposed to be meeting up with AJ later, hopefully. Um, if not, I'll figure something out. Um, oh, I made a note to stop saying um so much. I need to, need to delete um from my vocabulary. But yeah, I decided um, new, t new um, environment. I will make videos, you know, like you can see over here, you can see over here, you can see the police thing. So, um, oh God. Yesterday, or last night, um, oh my god, it's like ingrained in my fucking brain. So, didn't do a lot, just stayed around the house. Played some Last of Us 2. Um, oh, I give up. I'm gonna con con constantly say it. So, no, no point of trying to um, give up on it because it's not going to happen apparently. So, around 7.30, so I was meeting up with friends, old friends, um, old friends from my Renaissance Center days. We met up at Ohana. It was really nice. Um, I actually was a, really anxious about it the entire day, like had really strong anxiety and right around the time I was leaving, Aubrey uh, came home from work and I asked her if she wanted to go with me and we struck up a deal because she said, if you put gas in my car, I'll go, which I'm like, how's that? Oh, she met literally, I'll use her card, she'll pay for the gas. She just didn't want to put gas in her vehicle, which if you know the backstory to it, the uh, sensor is like busted or broke inside the tank or inside the nozzle or whatever you put, where you put the nozzle. So it triggers, it keeps triggering. It'll bubble up, trigger off, bubble up, trigger off, bubble up, trigger off. So you have to go very slow and you have to have a lot of patience. I said, sure, you know? And then I said, that's great because I was worried about how to actually pay for this, joking, haha. -ha. But she's, she's working a lot of hours and she's making more than I am, probably. I think so, yeah. She's making more money than I am. And I'm not working, I haven't worked since May. I haven't worked since the day the two cops showed up at my work and decided, hey, we're taking you in to the hospital now. Handcuffs and all, you know, like handcuffed in the back. And uh, yeah, you're coming with us to get checked out. It was really super exciting actually, <laughs> I'll admit. Um, and I was really good in handcuffs. I was surprised. I was actually proud of myself. Like, they handcuffed me in the back and then had me step, step into the car. And I was like, 
able to step in and not lose my balance or anything. And, I don't know, maybe it's easy, I don't know, but it always seemed like it might be kind of hard if you put like your handcuff from the back, but I was able to do it with ease. Anyways, go to the gas station first, you know, before, before everybody's supposed to arrive at 7.30, and I get out, and then like, I'm like, oh, how am I supposed to, do you have the key to your gas cap? She's like, oh, no, I don't have it. She has a locking gas cap because her door doesn't lock her door doesn't actually lock as you know as an 05 and maybe it's before the um, you know they started putting locking mechanisms on everything so she bought a locking gas cap because she kept waking up in the morning going to work and her gas door would be open so she got worried that somebody was trying to siphon gas so she has this locking gas cap, so we don't have a key. So I'm like, all right, um, we'll just we'll just go on the way back. Like I'll still do it. We'll just after dinner, I'll have you go get the key, and then I'll do it. So she agreed. We went to Ohana. Two of the guests were running late. One guest never ended up coming. They were at Holiday World which I found out later that they were actually supposed to come. I didn't even know. I just thought it was really going to be the two that I thought it was going to be and then end up finding one additional guest, which was a nice surprise. Really good buddy that I haven't seen in a, haven't seen in a while. So all in all, we order food and everything. They eventually come. It was a really really nice time like I was smiling and laughing it was a really good change and I know people will probably be like that's great like we want to see you whatever happy and I was for a little bit for that brief little period it was nice I ended up getting out of there at 10 o'clock and I was like I apologize to Aubrey I said, let's do this, you know, and I go home, stop there. She gets her key, we go to the gas station, I put gas in her car, you know, end of the night, go home, get some sleep. And that was my Saturday. So all in all, not too bad, just a, a day full of anxiety, anxiety. But other than that, really kind of nice. Now today, it's starting off good so far, I woke up. I think I got enough sleep and woke up rather early, did laundry, did my shot, which is nice. Um, what else? Played some Last of Us 2, waited till the laundry got done, cuddled with the cat, cuddled with Skittles. And I was like, oh, it's, um, you know, it's beginning to be daylight. I'm going to go out there and take a walk. And so I changed my path a little bit because I end up going to the same path every time. I take the entire river walk path, which I'm like, maybe I need to change it because they're telling me not to be so close to the river. And yeah, so I decided to change it. And here I am. Now. The two days before, I've had some really messed up dreams, or I guess nightmares, maybe people would call them. I had a dream on one of the previous nights that I had, that I had overdosed or that I was overdosing. And it kept waking me up and then I'd fall asleep and then I'd have another one. And then the next night, I had a dream about, like sharp objects like knives and like I was like handling them or something you know like I was like I was basically going to cause harm to myself or like slit maybe slit my wrist or just like cut 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 myself or something like that something to that nature um so it's been it's been pretty fucked up All in all, 
That's about it. Group's been pretty good. I let the group know about the dreams. I let my two friends, AJ and uh, Cassandra, who are sisters, who are awesome, who are just amazing. Like, AJ's been there a lot for me this week. And I've been hanging out with her. Thursday afternoon after I got up, after I got up on group, cut off from group. I went over to her house to hang out with her family. Like I've been kind of getting close to her and her kids and her husband or whatever. And, you know, like her husband's a pretty cool guy. Kids are like great, kids are like funny. And uh, I hear, you know, I hear from Cassandra that they, they, they talk about me from time to time when they're on FaceTime with her. So, must be making some kind of impression. So that's always nice. And like AJ, you know, like, I just love, I just love getting new friends. I love having, I don't have enough, I don't have enough friends period, but I don't have enough female friends. So it's really awesome. So Thursday evening, they decided they're going out to this Mexican restaurant in Petersburg and was figuring out the driving situation. And um, I ended up taking them like in my rental, um, not my rental, but my loaner car. It's a Toyota Yaris, a 2012, because my car is still being worked on. I don't know when it'll be done. I don't know, I'll have to call back Monday. I already know what it is. I already pretty much know what it is because I Googled it. If I would have Googled it before I took it there, I probably could have at least been able to turn the car off because I, I know how to do that now. It's a bad combination unit. And the combination unit, I guess, is the little piece in the dash that tells the mileage, it tells the what gear you're in and stuff like that. So. I know it's a bad one of those. I'm looking at probably, I'm gonna guess right now, and I'll tell you later if I'm right. I'm gonna guess anywhere from $400 on the low end to $700 on the high end. We'll see what it is. I hope it's not over $700. So I take them in my um, Yaris and we had a really nice uh, Mexican dinner. And um, it was really nice. Like it kept my mind off things. Otherwise I would just be going home and self-isolating. Probably listening to sad music and be thinking about her. And I can't be doing that all the time. I have to get I have to get out of this funk. I have to get out of this depression. I have to get out of this suicidal ideations. Next Wednesday is my last day. <clears throat> Sorry. Next Wednesday is my last day of group. And then Thursday I get to return to work. It is gonna be so awesome. I'm so excited to see everybody. Um I've been away for so long. Been away since late May. I haven't been working. That's a good angle. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. Uh, I think I was gonna say something else, but I don't know. My mind's kind of blank and I don't, I don't know, I guess I'll, I guess I'll get off of here. I don't know. Until next time, guys. Um, I'll keep you posted, you know. Keep these videos coming. Keep them, you know, keep, keep you know, keep you updated on how I'm feeling. And that's that, you know. I know people appreciate that. So, all right, until next time, guys.